Did you ever ask yourself, just how good is a bruja? I know I did. You might have noticed that my Bruja took no damage. Zero. This is the, at the end of the game, this is how strong my character is in this playthrough. So completely overpowered as usual. This is 11.4. So the thing about 11.4 is the book glitch has been removed. Hit pause here if you want to see the spreadsheet on how to do this. All-Star Athlete gives me an additional point in strength, so we start at 4 strength. Yeah, this is the way to uh, start the character to t make the best use of benefactors and books. Eleven point four plus patch. I turn the gamma up because YouTube makes everything darker. Environmental effects off because there can be an echo effect, especially when I record. And if you are recording, whatever your key is to start recording, in my case, F2, make sure it's not anywhere uh, on the hotkeys. This is block. And it doesn't do much of anything. Basically, as, a, as this clan, just beat everything to death. You can go left and right to stay to keep from getting hit, but pretty much just attack. And by the way, that fight that I showed you is not the best fight in the game with the Chang brothers. The best fight in the game is the werewolf. And when I say fight, I mean fight. Stay tuned. Yeah, interesting. He just he doesn't say anything about us looking rich, and uh, Chunk will say we don't look rich. Yeah, I think this character looks terrific. So I don't have enough persuasion to talk my way past the front desk, so we have to lockpick, but we're, we're going to have plenty of persuasion. I want my ghoul. Thanks, Courtney Taylor, one of the best voice actors in the world. And my character looks great. There is no book glitch in 11.4, so you might as well just get the books and read them. It doesn't matter. You, you still have a ridiculously overpowered character. Okay, we blackmail the doctor, get some extra money. We will also have tons of money in this game.
I need a little persuasion. Next up for the needle. Hmm? Our character looks great. So we're doing all of the free, the easy XP quests. Don't forget the ring. The card. Hack the computer. Yeah. I'm just harvesting cash and XP. You won't have to live like this anymore. Lost to humanity. Oh well. We're gonna get plenty of them back. Here's some more easy XP. The other ones seem like sour milk. Real bleeder. We were able to persuade her to um, the girl in the club to come to see this school. Eleven points, and of course we want celerity. Celerity, celerity, celerity. On celerity three before we do any fighting, and that sets the game on easy mode. And that's pretty much how it's going to go the whole game. Well, some of the enemies have a lot more health, like werewolves, Ming Xiao. They just have to get hit more. See you around then. If you ever find yourself or So yeah, just harvesting XP and cash. Pretty straightforward. So for these books, you want to use them right away because it doesn't matter if you use them for the first or second point. It's still 3 XP. Uh, for the level 3, 4 books, you want to use them for level 4. Yeah, this character is not big into talking. I hit Blood Hill by accident. Not that it matters, but that was a waste of a point of blood. Yeah, I think um, presence is better than potence. It's more powerful, but either either one works. I used one, and in, instead of using all three, I just used like, like the choice was potence or presence. I just wanted to experiment with it. Um, they're both good. The reason I didn't use all three is I didn't need them. One was fine. But you can use all three. It's just, use all three, it's fine. Okay, I go ahead and console two points in investigation uh, to get some extra dialogue. Turns out to be pointless. Uh, the dialogue isn't that good for this clan. If, if you know what I'm talking about, it's with Bertram. I have these on automatic renewal of disciplines, so they just keep going, you hit F8, and they go off. 
But yeah, it's a quick fight. He has no chance. Pick up a ring. You can jump over these stairs. I think celerity actually helps. It helps you jump faster or a longer distance. But I jumped over the uh, stairs, cut the basement completely off. And there's the fire axe. Room 211. That's a book worth 3 XP. And I'm storing, by the way, items in my refrigerator and my haven um, until I max out Haggle. And this time, not de uh, demonetized. And I noticed that uh, the ghost is still there at the table. Okay, goodbye, ghost. Yeah? That pay well? If taking one look at you, I'd say no. Uh, that pay well? That, taking one look at you, I'd say no. You get a promotion out of it. Yeah, definitely not a ventru looking rich person. I'm not sure that the axe is better than the knife in this fight, but I have an axe, so that's what I'm going to use. Oh, the Shin Goto. Yeah, I have that too. It seems to do slightly less damage. But I think I'm better with swords. That seems to be the pattern. I'm better with swords. They're, they seem to be a little faster, and I just seem to fight with them better. What you do is you click to attack, and then you click. As soon as it hits, you click again so that you hit faster. Okay, my character has high strength, so I can do this and just go feed. I'm afraid that I might frenzy, so I just go over and feed on some rats. But anyway, um, I seem to fight better with swords, even if they don't do the max amount of damage. Now I have enough charisma. Nothing. No, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend. Oh, I completely understand. Here, uh, take a few bucks. Think nothing. Yeah, I have enough persuasion to get the $20, and then I'm going to fall back on just getting free blood from this guy. I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. Care to join me? And I have enough persuasion here now to get Nobody told me to this. Any technicians. I didn't have this earlier, but I have it Fine, now. Whatever. Here's the so it just makes the quest floor. easier. Stairs are down the hall. Tell the guard upstairs I don't have to kill the guard. Network. And yeah, I have enough uh, persuasion um, to uh, talk my way past him and then enough 
uh, you know, a point in computer and I have enough hacking and yeah. Blood buff lets me get into anything I need to get into. You, what were you thinking? Hey, where you going, man? Okay, this character is kind of uh, not a talker, and even when she can talk, she doesn't really want to. She wants to break heads, so... These guys have a shotgun. I want the shotgun. I'm going to take the shotgun. I didn't hit Celerity because that's a Masquerade violation, and there's a civilian here. And I, I tried a couple of different things to try to get him to not pay attention, but he pays attention, so I could not use Celerity. Doesn't matter, kill the guy with the shotgun first so he doesn't shoot your, uh, blow your brains out, and then... Yeah, answer the phone, then run outside and hide from the police. I'm Pretty sorry, easy. Sorry just that. don't die. Was just curious about your refusal to take part in her design. So, she... so I, I took some damage, as you can see, but didn't die. I have seen the face of the demon. And someone got caught in a crossfire. Please give Santa Monica's regards to the prince. Plenty of persuasion to do this. Get all the or bonus we'll XP. Kill you. Okay, we're in good shape. 27 points. And of course I want 6 stealth. And somehow we have 10 humanity already. To sneak past this guy, I hit both Celerity and Blood Buff. Blood Buff adds plus two to Stealth, so I'm at eight. And I didn't have this on Auto Renewal in the options, so that I would just hit them one time and be done. And for this guy, I'm going to walk right next to him, so I'm going to just hit Blood Buff. I have eight Stealth. And that's it. I'm just, I, I don't really think about um, using lockpick and going in and getting, it's six rounds of shotgun ammo and I just don't care because we're just going to hit things in the head and kill everything. Although I do want free 38 ammo. I'm going to pick all that up and free shotgun ammo. I'm going to go back over here, pick up a few free items, and then see. <laughs> well, savor the flavor, fledgling. Thanks. You helped me get rid of a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Yeah, that, that's the uh, dialogue that I wanted to get, but it wasn't good enough to put in the front of the video like I normally do. So, we're in good shape. We have 13 points. And we get this um, we get this message at the end. And now we're going to go have fun in downtown. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the fights. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I built this character. Uh, now that we're in downtown, we're going to build even more. Um, we're going to get even stronger. This character is a lot of fun to play. Highly recommend it. And uh, thank you for watching. And go check out the art by the same person who gave me the art that I used in the last series. I will see you in downtown.